This is an Epson projector, model number EX3260, that we have just started using for movies and presentations. And I'm going to give you a quick review of what we have found that we like and what was challenging. We are very pleased with this device. It is very bright. We were concerned that maybe from the distance we were projecting from, that it might not be bright enough to really have much clarity on the screen surface, but it's great. It's nice and bright, and there's even adjustability of the brightness that you want. It comes with its own cables. There are um, several. There's a USB cable. There's also a cable to hook it up to a computer monitor. Um, interestingly, it comes with this cable, which is just to secure it to a stand so it doesn't fall. I don't think you're ever really gonna need this, but they put it in just in case. What you will need um, that it doesn't come with is your audio cable. So be sure and have one of those handy if you're planning to watch as soon as you set it up. It also comes with this very nice carrying case. It's padded inside and it's very, very protective. So uh, we like that. We didn't know it was coming with the case. It also comes with a remote. Most of the controls that you need are directly on top of the projector with all the various buttons, but the remote makes it really easy access to, especially for a presentation um, situation. And I'm sh let me show you what some of those features are now. There's height adjustment in the back by simply screwing in or out the support feet. You can adjust the size of the projection with the W and T button. You can make it wider very easily, and you know, larger, or smaller with a touch of a button. You can set this up so that it's in the corner of a room and projecting at an angle. If you can't go straight on, there's a convenient manual dial here where it will adjust the screen so that you can make it look square even if you're projecting from an angle. Very handy. This device comes with front projection as the default, but it does also have a setting where you can change it to rear projection. And that would be if you're wanting, say you've got a sheet hanging and you want to project from behind, so the projector itself is hidden, but the people that are watching are in front of the screen. Uh, you can do that rear projection as well and still nice and bright and very clear. Now if you are planning to do a rear projection, it's really important to place the projector off to the side or above or below the screen because otherwise this very nice bright light is going to be shining right through your screen at the people who are watching and you don't want that. So you place it off to the side and then you can use all of these um, other adjustable features where you can change the um, angle that it projects at. So the projection is square no matter what angle you're putting the machine at. This was really easy to set up. It was pretty much plug and play. There's a quick setup guide that comes with it. Um, if you're just setting up straight on to your screen, it's really simple. Um, it does come with a disc that has ma a manual and you can do all kinds of things with the special features on here. We didn't find that we needed the manual yet um, just because uh, it's pretty simple as is and uh, we're going to tuck this away in case there's some other cool stuff we want to do later. Lots of features to discover. We'll put a link in the description below for this particular Epson model. You might be able to get it refurbed for cheaper, but this has really been a good experience for us. We have used this machine from 20 feet away, and it's been great. It looks like you could use it from further away than that, but that's how far we've used it, um, and we've been very pleased so far.